Martin, Brenna McCall. Um, and just a brief introduction to Brenna. After earning her BA in sociology at Asheville, she served two years in AmeriCorps' power, uh, Project Power excuse me, as a volunteer coordinator and an after-school coordinator. Uh, following her service year, she spent a year in Spain gaining fluency in the Spanish language while also teaching English. And then upon her return to the U.S., she worked at the Carolina Mountain Lands Conservancy as the program coordinator for the conservation-based AmeriCorps program. In the summer of 2014, Carolina, and she is now the director of the Literacy Corps, which is literacy-focused AmeriCorps with members serving across North Carolina. Also a member of the Young Nonprofit Professor and she holds a Duke certification in nonprofit. I'm sure that her experiences, as well as Simone's and Katie's, will um, teach us a thing or two. So, Brenna, I am going to pass it off to you now. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Um, so the AmeriCorps project that I'm running is managed through SCALE. It's the Student Coalition for Action and Literacy Education. Um, and most of the groups that we serve are college-age groups, um, but our AmeriCorps members are um, all ages, and we um, have members serving all across North Carolina. So we'll actually be organizing 10 different um, GYSD events in different regions. Um, this is actually my first year um, with doing a GIOSD project, but I've done a lot of um, other volunteer recruitment for National Service Days, as well as um, organizational volunteer recruitment. I don't think I'm able to go through the slides, but could you click to the next one? Yep, absolutely. Thanks. Um, so I like to ask our members when they're recruiting volunteers, um, to kind of think about the um, reasons why they like to volunteer, what motivates them. Um, so there's a lot of reasons why people volunteer. Um, they want to affect change in their community. Um, maybe they want to acquire some new skills. Um, maybe that will help them in their career or a good thing to add to their resume. Um, and volunteering is also a great way to meet new people and be civically engaged. Um, and so another good question to ask, which we've kind of talked about a little bit, um, but why does your organization need volunteers? And why would you want to have um, diverse volunteers? Um, and one reason is um, having the value of fresh perspectives. Um, and this is especially helpful um, to involve your volunteers in the planning stages. Having those perspectives and fresh ideas can be really helpful. Um, you also are able to create an inclusive environment. Diverse volunteers provides a bridge between your organization and the community at large. Um, and you also can encourage people from different backgrounds to use your services. Um, you're increasing who is talking about your organization, and so it's a great way to um, provide outreach for your organization. Um, and when you're thinking about recruiting, um, there can be some challenges, um, maybe reasons why people aren't able to volunteer. Uh, we often hear people say that they'd like to volunteer, but they just can't. Um, there's many reasons why people may feel unable to volunteer, so we definitely want to avoid um, any kind of exclusion um, and be aware of these kinds of barriers when we're recruiting. Um, and some of those barriers include um, language barriers, um, additionally technology, um, only posting online um, can limit the amount of people that you're reaching out to, um, or having an application online for someone that may not have internet access at home um, could potentially be a barrier. Um, also, the way you write your um, volunteer recruitment, your descriptions, um, Making sure that you're not using too many technical terms that may, people, um, may make people feel unqualified. Um, you also want to consider location. Um, can you make your volunteer location accessible by public transportation or close enough to a community that someone can walk to? Um, so when you're thinking about being inclusive, think about the types of advertisements that you have. You want to have multiple types, so online is is definitely a great way to reach people, but also flyers, um, going face-to-face um, -face with people, talking in classes, going into communities, 
Um, so multiple layers. Also accessibility, um, again, transportation. Um, can you make volunteer opportunities in various locations that, that um, more people can reach to if they don't have a car or if you're working in a rural area where there's not um, public transportation? Um, and also, you want to have a lot of time variety. Um, you can have activities taking place at different days so that if someone is working or if they're in school or if they're in night classes, there's different times, um, evenings and weekends in which they can uh, volunteer. So um, some questions that you can ask yourself um, to check in about um, the diversity of your volunteers. Um, in your images for your flyers, are you projecting a welcoming and inclusive image on your recruitment materials? Um, have you explored your own perceptions and talked with staff um, regarding race and cultural diversity? Um, we definitely don't want to make assumptions that certain groups don't want to volunteer just because they aren't normally represented. Um, do we work in coalition with groups that predominantly include people of color, um, also age, gender, um, cultural, um, and physical ability diversity? Um, and have we researched the demographic makeup of our community? Um, so I'd like to share with you um, a story about one of our AmeriCorps members. Um, she serves at the Durham Literacy Center. Um, and she's been working with DLC to provide more opportunities for youth with disabilities to volunteer. Um, and one of the great partners with them has been working with the Autism Society. Um, after talking with the Autism Society, they strategized together to create some adaptive volunteer activities that um, children with autism can do on their own or supervised by their caretakers. Um, so this is a great way to partner and include populations that are traditionally underserved and underutilized. Um, so I also included some resources here from SCALE um, and also from Idealist. Um, these are just helpful um, in recruiting and volunteer management, just kind of a step-by-step -step planning. Um, and if you have any additional questions, I am available on Twitter or through email. Um, if you will share our emails at the end, that would be great. And thank you, guys.